Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. Um, thank you for watching and supporting as always. As promised, we're doing the runes today. So the, the rune of the day is Kion. I think that's how you say that, or Kion. Um, so this one is associated with like the torch of fire. Um, it's good for protection and things like that. And this is an amethyst crystal. This is like one of my favorite crystals in the crystal families. Um, so the Kion or Kion or Rhone is, if it's in the upright, which it, it is, um, it is advising you to be receptive. So you may have maybe someone that wants to talk to you about something, just get something off their chest. Or maybe wants to maybe wants to have some type of closure with you. Could be a friend, could be a lover, ex-lover, family member, whoever. Uh, they may want to talk to you, and you are being advised to be receptive to whatever it is they're trying to tell you, or they have to tell you. Someone may be going through some really rough times right now, and they may just need to get some things off of their chest. So give them the opportunity to say it with their chest, okay? Um, so also this room can be um, associated with you being advice to seize opportunities that the universe is presenting to you um, so some of you may have a lot of opportunities that are coming your way and the universe is telling you to keep uh, an open mind be vigilant um, and take uh, advantage of these opportunities because these are like your rewards maybe you've been doing like the spiritual work or even the physical work as well mental work healing work and they are sending you opportunities and things like that i'm also hearing that some of you maybe someone may bless you with some type of money and um your ancestors are saying to not be close-minded not to like be not to feel offended by someone giving you something if you are someone like, that kind of likes to do everything on your own maybe someone just uh, something touched their heart. Maybe the universe touched their heart to bless you. So they're telling you to be receptive, okay? And be grateful for that assistance because they don't have to give it to you. Um, but they're choosing to. You may also want to pay attention to your intuition for a little while. Um, there are things going on around you. So you may want to be careful that someone may be trying to deceive you about a matter that's going on behind the scenes when it pertains to you. Maybe someone does not think you are aware or you may not be as in tune um, to the situation, but you are being advised to be very um, alert and pay attention to your intuition and listen to what it is that is telling you. I don't care if, you know, someone from, I don't know, I, I don't know if it's someone respectable, someone you trust comes and tell you like the sky is gray and you know the sky is blue, baby, the sky is blue, it's not gray, okay? That's what you are being told, uh, just listen to your intuition if you if you're not in touch with your intuition start doing things that will enable you to get in tune with your intuition and listen to uh listen to it become one of it basically going within learning how to tune out the world go within and listen to yourself you may have um like a new relationship that's going to be starting um this could be romantic this could be platonic whatever it is this could be business but you're going to have some type of new relationship that starts um and source is advising you to just kind of stay open-minded leave the past in the past oh listen i just so my deck has been sitting like it was laying flight and I just picked it up and I'm talking about relationship. You won't guess the card. You won't believe the card that's on the bottom of this deck. It's a freaking two of cups. Okay. Um, so you may have some type of new relationship that's going to be starting and source is advising you to be open minded. Maybe whoever you're going to be starting a relationship with may not be your typical kind. Um, someone maybe even thinking you're not really my type, but you know, maybe they're choosing to be open minded and they may not be your type as well. And you're choosing to be open minded open minded relationship relationships are both with our two way streets excuse me so just be open minded to the universe and what it is it has to offer you remember to co-create with it it's a beautiful place and a beautiful thing that we are living in and don't take it for granted you are here for a reason you have a purpose you are beautiful and appreciated men and women okay it's raining where i'm at so Listen, we'll consider the rain, the thunder as ASMR, okay? Just listen, you got you got to kind of take things as they are given to you. Don't fuss about it. Just go along with the, the situations. ASMR, look at that. Rainfall for you all. Free rain. Free ASMR for everybody. Let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading. As always, 
I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light and highest of vibrational energy. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Listen, I'm loving the sound of the rain. Like, I'm one of those people, I love the, the sound of nature, the rain, go to sleep to the sound of rain. If it bothers you, I'm so sorry, you're going to have to click off, but I'm not closing that window. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. Uh, you may be someone that's focused on your ascension right now. Maybe this could be like a masculine within a community um, or a feminine within a community. I don't know. Maybe you're in some type of toxic situation and you're trying to focus on ascending, healing, uh, seeing things from a higher perspective. Maybe you're going through an awakening. Your ancestors are communicating with you and you're choosing to listen to your intuition, which is kind of, which kind of goes hand in hand with that. With the rune that we have, the uh, Chiron rune, um, you're listening to your intuition, paying attention to the signs, symbols, and synchronicities around you, which is what you're always supposed to do. Um, but there's something that's going to be revealed to you. It could be in your dream stick. It could be, you know, just maybe you're watching a video. You'll see something that, you know, uh, sparks on a, a, um, an idea in your head. But you are on the right path when it comes to your work, your path, your direction, your destiny, and all of that. We may have someone that's stuck in some type of karmic situation, relationship that they are trying to get out of. Maybe someone is in a toxic situation, but they are trying to heal while they are in their relationship so that they can come out of it the right way. Um, something may be blocked right now. You may also have someone that's trying to block your work and things like that, but honey, it'll come out. Um, so what I see is that there's someone that is working really hard to go through some type of ascension and awakening to come out of a toxic situation and move on. And I feel like this is a masculine because I see a lot of masculine cars out here. Um, I feel like this is a masculine that's in a toxic karmic relationship that maybe he thought was something else in the beginning, but it has turned out to be something else now. So maybe he's trying to do the work to move on and leave this karmic situation. Someone is desiring to move on really bad. Like he does not want to be in a situation. Maybe he's finding out that someone has been misrepresenting themselves um, and is causing him a lot of distress because maybe this is someone he thought he had a genuine bond with. This is someone he thought he had a commitment with. This could be a king of cups, right? But he's showing up in the reverse. Is he showing up in the reverse because he's moving on or this is someone reckless? This could be someone that's very reckless, okay? So maybe on one hand, there's someone that's healing. And then the other hand, there's someone that's very reckless. Someone taking some type of impulsive action. Maybe this is someone from your past with the fact that we have the devil out here and the king of cups in the reverse and things like that. Maybe this is someone from your past that wants to come back into your energy to reignite some type of old situation from the past that you've managed to move away from um this is someone that's coming in with a whole lot of energy and you're just like uh stay away from me i'm content in life i'm planning on how to move forward and have new uh beginnings new offers new opportunities do new things in life and someone may know that you have some new offers coming in new opportunities maybe he knows you're having some type of new abundance that's coming towards you and this is why he's trying to come in and now want to have a family sees you as wish fulfillment wants to balance things out with you to have a ten of pentacles wants to now tell you oh we're twin flame now i know that we're twin flame wants to balance things and gives to you you don't need nothing from this person um you're gonna meet someone else that's of high honor uh, someone that's actually going within and doing the work. Someone that's mastering themselves. This is who you deserve to be with. So do not settle. This King of Cups in the reverse is a narcissist. This is someone that's trying to defeat you. And he believes his way of defeating you is by coming into your energy and giving you some type of false offer, false hope. Listen to your intuition again. Uh, listen, and you know what? The Amethyst Crystal is symbolic of intuition. Like the dream state. 
protection in the uh, spirit realm, but it's very, very much associated with your intuition, listening to your intuition, strengthening your intuition. So we are being advised basically today to listen to our intuition. There's something that you need to know and you need to pay attention to, especially with the fact that we have the judgment card out here has a lot to do with spiritual communications and things like that, some type of judgment being made in the spirit realm, um, your ancestors and things of that nature. So there's something very heavy about your intuition, paying attention to your intuition, listening to your intuition, getting in alignment with your higher self so that you don't miss a beat, so that you can pay attention and notice the signs, symbols, and synchronicities around you and you can understand what it is they're trying to tell you because oftentimes, when the spirit realm is communicating with us and honey i'm going to be straightforward too sometimes i have a hard time understanding what it is they're showing me because they seem to forget <clears throat> <clears throat> they seem to forget that, you know, we're human in this realm and our higher self may be able to look at a picture, a picture for one second and they can, you know, observe all of the information they need on that frequency. But on the human frequency, we need time. OK, like I need some time to, you know, download this and break it down dismantle it and then build it back up but uh, something come on like these, these little flashes they be giving us sometimes I'm like, come on you got to do better than this i need explanations and you know I, you need a, you know my brain is this big my attention span is this long what are you doing but anyways this person may want to come in uh because they know you have some type of offer or abundance coming your way but this person's idea of blocking your forward movement is basically them coming in and trying to give you some type of false hope uh that you and them can have a family together they've changed they've healed this is someone that just maybe want to pop up pop up into your life out of nowhere like you haven't seen them in like two three five years or something ten years and all of a sudden they just pop up like hey stranger say yeah stranger goodbye uh, stranger danger okay that's what i'm telling you to do collect it but stranger danger your mama told you listen you all know very well your mommies, your mammies told you not to talk to strangers. So if you and someone have not been together for however long, you a whole new person, they're a whole new person. Okay, I don't care if they're stuck in the old paradigm that's, a, that's somebody you don't resonate with anymore. Your brain's thinking you, so you don't got nothing to say to that person. It's not because you're holding on to the past or because you hate this person. It's just because why put on some dirty clothes that you've already worn and it's, and it's dirty? move on get something new okay okay wish them well and say goodbye but this person is hoping that you're not going to figure out that they just want to pop up in your energy give you some type of false hope reattach themselves to you talking about we're family and i'm so sorry for what i did this person may have left you for some type of toxic situation they've thought they have found themselves a queen an empress you know the real deal is what i keep hearing he said he found himself the real deal he found him an empress only to find out he found himself a nightmare so now that he knows this is a nightmare and he's trapped in this situation mind you someone may have had a baby trapped him with a baby or told him that a baby was his maybe it turns out the baby was not his maybe someone got a whole lot of problems going on and they want to come towards you with those problems you don't got time today tomorrow or any other day for him her their ancestors they need to figure it out over there okay okay so anyways some of, me, some of you, these exes, may be even going through some legal issues where you're going to have to pay some money and things like that. Maybe you have a higher level soulmate as well that I'm hearing maybe going through some type of court case. It'll go in their favor, but something is being balanced out for you. I'm telling you, this man here, this King of Cups reverse, someone knows that you have some type of abundance coming in, and this is why they are coming in to you quickly. Say, Hey girl, remember when we, remember when we, I, I don't remember nothing. My, 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 I have selective memory, but today I don't, t I don't remember nothing. Nothing, nothing. My ancestors say I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. So you are, and your memory are going to have to go back down and skip to my low down the yellow brick road back to where you came from. Okay. Okay. 
Anyways, collective, you have some type of offer coming in that is going to be changing your life. Someone may be coming towards you that you don't know about. Uh, so just thread with caution. Someone may be going through some type of awakening, going through some type of ending. There's a queen of cups within. I don't know if this is a woman in a man's life. Um, that has been out here pretending to be something that she is not. Um, I don't know if you're like a king of pentacles and you've been with a queen of cups reverse that has been pretending to be something that she is not. What this woman has been doing is trying to block, is blocking someone's work. So she's paying some type of hacker to block someone's work behind the scenes so that they're not out. Um, whether it's a promotion, nine to five, a, a business, someone started products. Uh, online platforms and things like that there's a woman a queen of cups reverse has been paying to have someone's works blocked hidden so that they're not seen one she does not want you to see this person maybe she knows that you have feelings for this person or you admire this person maybe you admire this person's intellectual intellect excuse me and two is some type of jealousy and animosity because this woman has been pretending to be the person that she's paying for people to hide so she's paying hackers to do a whole lot of things out here this is someone that's a narcissist trying to stop you two from coming together i don't know if you two have some type of business agreement together or you were together whatever this is um but she's trying to block the two of you from coming together being how he's causing a lot of illusions may have been breaking a lot of laws and things like that to make sure something goes in her favor I, like i don't know with this devil's car out here i feel like you and this person have some type of binding contract together that you yeah binding contract you probably told this was something that was in the upright something that was you know uh, um something that was a uh, uh, holy uh something good to get into i don't know what the word is like something that was destined to be between you and them but you're finding out this person did something to trap you in a situation in a very karmic situation and now you're wanting to move on you may have lost feelings for this person maybe you used to like this person a lot maybe you love them or maybe you trusted this person but you don't love them or trust them anymore and you're moving on you're taking action to move on with your life and put an end to this situation and then in the background of the person you possibly want to go to there's an ex and your ex doing this woman something like the ex wants to come in and cause uh hindrances to this person's uh, independence, their self-sufficiency, they want to put an end to it, put, cause some type of stalemate, and then your ex is doing something too behind the scenes that you're not aware of. This other woman that you have your eyes on may not even know who your ex is, but she has her eyes on this woman and has been doing things behind the scenes to block her and her. You could be with a queen of wands, queen of cups, reverse kind of energy, And but what they do is pretend to be someone that's in the upright, someone that's naturally innovative they ain't innovative okay some type of destiny is playing out yeah this is someone who's like a thief someone very cunning very mal uh, malicious don't care how their actions affect other people all she cares about is money and maybe you didn't know that but maybe if you watch this video you're gonna find that out uh she has been doing a whole lot to block someone's abundance so like Let's say someone owns a business and their product is doing really well or they see that this product is going to be doing something, doing really well because this is your ex, whoever this woman is and whoever her, uh, um, listen, there's too many people in here. Well, how, what, what can we do to, to simplify this? Okay. Hmm. Karmic X1, Karmic X2. Karmic X1, sir, is your ex-girlfriend. Karmic X2 is your soon to be exes okay so karma x1 folks please i'm so sorry i'm trying to keep up with these comments <laughs> gosh <laughs> oh lord if if the person you're interested in had a product or have products that were supposed to be doing well your karmic x1 has been out here causing blockages and stalemates paying hackers to block this woman's forward movement, okay? To hinder her finances, uh, hinder her connections, don't want people working with her. Like this woman has been doing a lot to hide this person, to keep them hidden, right? This is the truth that's being illuminated to you, okay? Um, and then on the woman's, the person you're interested in, her ex as well, he's just, he has gone buck wild crazy out here. He wants to come in sell her some type of uh 
delusional or illusional picture that he has healed. He's not healed. He's still karmic as can be. Probably worse than what he was before they were together. This is someone that's coming right out of a toxic relationship and wants to jump into a star sea kind of connection. You're BSing us. You're BSing us. But uh, every truth, all lies, everything has been exposed. Um, you could be trying to separate yourself. Baby, that was a tongue twist, wasn't it? Oh, Lord. You could be trying to separate yourself or free yourself from a karmic situation, which is kind of what we said when we started in here. Listening to your intuition, you may have people around you that are trying to tell you to stay in this karmic connection with this Queen of Cups reverse that I'm picking up on. Don't do it. This is someone trying to defeat you. The Queen of Cups herself, the people around you, they all know that woman ain't about nothing. There may be some type of financial gain for them. Um, this is why they're advising you to stay with this woman. Don't do it. Put her into this chapter. End it successfully and move on. Everybody around you is causing you illusions. You need to find the strength, master yourself, and move on. You could be someone that's in the public eye. And you could be someone very influential, very diplomatic, do things in the upright. You may be a bit of a traditionalist is what I'm picking up on. And you may be going through some type of heartbreak, kind of keeping to yourself, um, trying to heal, recover. And so you can get back to this energy here. You, you'll get back to it. You're doing the work that you need to do. So it'll be okay. But you know, you're kind of just keeping to yourself right now. Some, whatever these people, baby. All these lies, deceit, manipulations, this woman has been causing you about a queen of swords, baby. It's all over. It's coming to an end. And if you don't know, not you know, trigger, okay? Someone around you, that queen of cups reversed, baby, that Sir, that woman feels burdened by you leaving to have fulfillment somewhere else. But she lied to you. Someone is very frustrated, maybe feeling embarrassed out here, feeling way down and burdened that she's losing a relationship. This relationship is over, okay? Someone broke your trust is what I'm hearing. Someone may have tried to steal from you. Someone tried to trap you in some type of karmic situation so you wouldn't go, oh, go and have your wish fulfillment. Yeah, she tried to trap you in a situation so that you wouldn't go on to balance something out, leaving her out in the cold. She wanted you to leave an empress out in the cold. But it turns out this empress here is the bee's knees for you. Uh, I don't know if that's your soulmate or your higher level soulmate is what I'm being told. Good for the both of you. You get to live happily ever after together. You could be a king of wands, king of pentacles. Don't matter. Whatever energy you take on, we can all take on these energies, men and women, at any time of the day. So, anyways, the truth is out. Everybody is having some type of epiphany. There's some type of communication coming in that's going to clarify what it is these people have been doing behind the scenes. Especially your ex or soon to be ex. I don't know. I really don't care. Don't got nothing to do with me. I just get the story. I just get the messages. So, whether you two are together or not together, that's your business. Okay, you want to stay trapped. Trapped up, good for you. Maybe you're sprung out to get you, got you doing dishes and all of that. That's your business. Keep on doing the dishes. If you like doing the dishes, go ahead and do the dishes, okay? Um, but the truth is out. These people don't know what it is to do with themselves because these are people that have been collaborating. Your ex may have left her community to go to the other woman's community to get people to collaborate with her so that they can block this woman. Lo, a whole bunch of cars just came out. I ain't even fooling with it. I'm going to put it right back here. The story will come out the way it is. I don't got time today, tomorrow, any day. Anyways, she has had a lot of people working with her because whatever this woman has been doing takes a lot of commitment and this is not something she can do by herself. Someone has been paying another energy to help her block Stop, cause stalemates, cause conf confusions, conflicts, manipulations about a genuine energy. And the ancestors of that person, they said, we don't got time for your nonsense. They're illuminating the truth about this person. So maybe they've been out here telling you someone is karmic, someone is toxic, someone is a liar. They have addictions and things like that they're dealing with. Someone's very impulsive, reckless with their body and things like that. And the truth has been shown to you that this is someone very genuine. Someone is healed still healing like everybody else someone very genuine eccentric authentic very spiritually gifted and things like that you see their ancestor car right here plus this person baby 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 someone could be trying to trap you in a relationship with with a baby you may want to be careful 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 sir careful this ex here of whoever i'm picking up on miss miss lady ma'am your ex 
may have gotten trapped in a relationship with a baby. Do we care? No, we don't. That's his business. That, we don't care. <laughs> that, that, ain't, that don't got nothing to do with us. <laughs> yeah, that would be the truth. <laughs> Ooh, got trapped with a baby. May want to go and find out if that baby is yours. If it, if it is, take care of that baby. I don't know if maybe a child is not a masculine with this devil out here in this picture because someone tried to trap a man with a baby. There could be some type of court case going on. Listen, this was trying to come out. Okay? Someone's trying to hold on to a man, a wealthy man. They're trying to trap you, bond you. They say you can go. They want you to stay. They want to keep pretending to be in the upright so you can keep giving to them. You're a whole emperor out here. You bet. You better put on your, your emperor hat, your emperor shoes, <laughs> and your... <laughs> Listen, sir, I don't got time for your nonsense. <laughs> you better put on your emperor hat, your emperor shoes, and your emperor blizzards and get the heck away. <laughs> get the heck away from this nutcase. Because she ain't about nothing but wickedness, maliciousness. This is a woman on a different level of insecurity. There's, there's, a, there's average people insecurities where you see little Susie with a red crayon and you say you want the red crayon because you don't want little Susie to have it even though your favorite color is blue and you have blue, right? And you fuss about it and you end up letting it go because you know you're being petty. But this lady kind of petty, this is someone that don't mind taking people out. Someone may even be exposed on TV for for committing frauds. I don't know something about uh on a living or something. Something is going to come out about the woman that you have been so addicted to. Um because that's all I'm getting here. I don't see a woman I've looked into this woman's energy now for 3 months. This ain't someone that brings nothing to the table but manipulations, lies, deceits, connivingness, uh financially motivated and nothing more than that. So I don't know what kind of act Sister got to get an award for her acting, like a Nobel, a Nobel Peace Prize, excuse me, because she got you wrapped up, wrapped up around that finger, baby. Ooh, look at you being just working day and night to make that woman happy and getting nothing to make her happy. You about to get on with your life, ain't you? You you thinking about it. You're a planner. Hmm. You're trying to figure out how to put an end to all this madness. You thought you were in a commitment, a solid commitment, but you're finding out it was nothing but lies and deceits. Keep your moves to yourself. Move in silence that Michael Jackson be a smooth criminal. Let her get hit by a smooth criminal. But when you're done making your move, that last chest move, that you've been hit by, poop, poop. you've been struck by, poop, poop. a smooth criminal. That's after you put on your emperor hats, your emperor shoes, and your emperor blazers, okay? <laughs> Let's see, you wealthy people got too many problems for us. Okay, too many problems for us. Mm, 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 mm. Listen, you all are the wealthy ones. You shouldn't be happy this many problems. Okay, I thought they said money buys happiness. Shouldn't you all have your problems figured out? Mm? Shouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Sir, this King of Cuffy verse, we don't know where you're going, but it ain't working out. You might as well sit your behind down. You pick this one here. Yeah, you pick this situation here. That's where you belong. Ain't no going back to Madame High Honor. Ain't none of that, okay? Ain't none of that. You're going to have to stay where you is, where you is, okay? You're going to have to stay now. Whether you stay there, you don't stay there, as long as you know coming to the past is not an option. You see how you're leaving? <laughs> going that way. <laughs> Keep going wherever you're going or go back to the person you went to. Don't go back to this woman of high honor, the spiritually gifted person, the genuine person. No, 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 no. The past is not an option for you now, sir. It is not an option. I think you're going through karma. That's why you're trying to come to that person. That sister said, I think not. <laughs> you about to have, you about to be going through. Oh, oh God bless you, Shia, Shia. See you, see your life. You're going through karma. So you out here, 
in the reverse, being manipulative, being emotionally unavailable, conniving as can be, emotionally unavailable by unavailable. By the way, and you got the nerve to be out here plotting people's endings while you're going through karma, you better sit your raggedy behind down. The universe is about to be out here tossing you like a solid. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, mercy, mercy. Uh, they said they ain't having no mercy on you. you you're going to have to go within after this karma here. They say you're going to have to go within. They're putting you in a time out. You know when your mommies, your mammies tell you, go sit down in that corner right there. You know that's the American stuff. Africans will do time out. You're going to get that pat pat. <laughs> you ain't never going to do it again. But anyways, let's keep it PG-13. <laughs> let's keep it family friendly on this channel, folks. We don't do what we Wink, wink. Uh, you gonna have to sit in that corner right there, uh huh, until we get back to you, cause you need to sit down and think about what it is you've been doing. And once you let us know what you learned about the situation you just came out of, put yourself in, then we can talk. Okay? Are you gonna be honest with us? You ain't gonna be honest. We don't got nothing to talk about, cause you're out here doing nothing but causing conflict, manipulating, and all the stuff that you don't need to be doing. You going through endings. Oh, darling, everything you touch is about to be a failure. And nothing you touch, nothing, until you do right by whoever you crossed, nothing you touch is going to be fruitful. Baby, you are cursed. You better go through that dark night of the soul. I'm talking about that rebirth, rebirth. When you come out of it, you're a brand stinking new. When they say, Johnny, is that you? Oh, I am not Johnny anymore. I am David now. <laughs> oh gosh, he's David now. He's David. He's David. You could even be Solomon, successful in business and all of that. Oh man, some Musa. He's gonna he's gonna go into this uh dark night of the of the soul as Tyron or Byron and come out as Mensa Musa. Okay. It says Byron. Is that you? Uh-uh, I'm in Samusa. <laughs> I am delivered and I am in love now. <laughs> With who? We don't know, but you're going to have to find that out when you come out. This man said he wants to have a family now. He's trying to put an end. He's trying to stop a king of pentacles from having a family with the woman that he lost. And man looking at you like, what the heck is wrong with you? You said you didn't want this person, right? Listen, why am I hearing you people's thoughts? <laughs> Close your minds. <laughs> Ooh. I swear, I'm sorry, Carmen. It's not like I don't take you all's business serious. It's just, it's so funny. I gotta, <sighs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You know, I've always been told I'm a little bit too stoic or, you know, so I'm trying to work on being, work my, work on my stoicism. So we got to add some wicked humor to this. I mean, it said, you said you didn't want her. Remember? What happened? He said, but we're friends, though. We're friends. You can't be dating her. He said, I don't give two Fs if she's friends with her. <laughs> Ooh, these two here are familiar with each other. Uh, they are familiar. <laughs> he said, friends where? Man, we're in our 40s or 50s or 30s and things, and you're talking about friends. I don't have no loyalty to you. <laughs> you're going to suck my dick. <laughs> Are you going to suck my dick? What I need to suck? Uh, no, no, no. I don't even want you to touch me. So I don't give a, I don't give two Fs. But we're friends. You got me effed up in one in too many ways. I'm gonna go make an offer to her and I'm moving on with my life. Listen, it's a king of wands out here on his business. He said he got places to be. He don't make a whole decision. He's gonna go to his either his twin flame or his higher level soul mix. Someone's out here doing the work. He's healing. Being in the upright, look at this man here. Look at this man. It all went from a whole page of wands to an emperor to a freaking temper. Sir, do you got a brother? Is he doing the same work as you? The inner work and stuff? Like, you got a brother, sir. You got a brother? Let's see. You got a brother? Let me holler at him real quick. I don't know who you're going through. I ain't out here trying to take anyone from a, another higher priestess or empress. 
Well, you got a brother or something? Damn. It's about to be true love out here. I'm talking about that kind of love where it's like pure communications, reciprocity, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, no confusion. Whatever you say to one, the other one's gonna find out. I said, because we're best friends. That's my best friend. <laughs> yeah. Lord have mercy. I'm happy. I'm happy when to listen. It's about to be genuine love out here. That's we need more of that in the universe. Okay, this is what the universe wants. Genuine love, friendship and affection. No uh, you know, trickery. People out here pretending to be genuine when they're not genuine. People just being with you for money. If you don't got no money, they don't got your time and things like that. Or you don't have come on now. Come on now. We got time for this. Some of you are in your 40s, 50s, and 60s and still haven't learned your lesson. You're still out here signing your names, your lives away, signing your destinies away, and trapping yourself in bondage to people that don't got no, no type of good interest at heart for you. You mean to tell me you're in your 50s and still signing contracts to bind yourself to people? What is wrong with you? You should be self-assertive by this point. And knowing that you are in charge of your damn motherfucking... Oh, excuse me. It came out. I was going to say mother effing. I don't know what happened to me and people. I didn't grow up in a house that curses. But something... Maybe these karmics have gotten to me. It's okay. It's okay. Things happen. Things happen. At, certain, at a certain, certain point in your life, especially you want to be seen as an emperor, you calling yourself an emperor or an empress, you can't be out here signing your life away making bad business deals with people and stuff like that and then trying to hide it when it backfires. Uh-uh. You're supposed to be out here being abundant, fruitful, multiplying, having a family, settling down, being happy, coming home to the wife and kids and the dogs and stuff and the cats. I don't know what kind of pets you like. The raccoons, squirrels, whatever it is, the fish, whatever works for you. You just go ahead and get you that. But that's what you're supposed to have, Okay. When you get to a particular age, you know, you shouldn't have time for the nonsense. That's why emperors don't got time. They don't got time for the nonsense. Empresses don't got time. They think we're rude, but we ain't rude, are we? No, we're not rude. We just don't got time for your nonsense. Not today, not tomorrow, or any other day for you until your ancestors can help you figure it out. Okay? So, when you when an emperor or empress gets with you and they find out... You haven't been true to your world, chuck those two sets up. Ain't no working it out. Because you're going to do it again. Bop, bop, bop. You're going to do it again. Bop, bop. Do it again. That emperor, empress, don't got no time to be trying to figure out, should I give them another chance? Should I not give them another? No, no, no. They come with a two-edged sword. Psh, done. I'm telling you. Very straightforward. Done. Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. I don't got nothing to figure out. And then there you go sitting in time out oh, there, that queen of wands, sitting in time out there, but uh, he's really leaving me, but I'm so beautiful. Oh my gosh, girl, is you on, this is destiny here playing now. Girl, nobody got time for you. I'm so beautiful. I'm better looking than her. I'm better looking than, girl, nobody got time. It's a lot of beautiful people in the world. What, what, what's next, Melissa? What's next? What's next? What's next? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. This man wants to be happy. You out here causing him misery. Have him living in fear, anxiety, not even wanting to have anything to do with other people. Girl, there's a whole brother out here that's doing the work to you. And you're wasting his time. Again, Sade, you got a brother. Let me highlight him real quick. Let me highlight him. Should I turn to Tevin Campbell real quick? Can we talk? For a minute, sir, I want to know your name. Hey, can we? Okay, let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, these people are trying to cause blockages. This is what they've been doing. They've been out here causing blockages, still missed your investments, your manifestations, and things like that. They don't want you manifesting nothing. You could have a Sagittarius out here. This man here, I don't know who this man is, but somebody needs a belt to their behind. He needs a few pap, 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 pap to his behind. You can leave these women alone out. Stop bullying women, sir. Whoever this king of wands. I don't 
don't know who you are, but you guys to chill. Stop being a bully out here. And then you got another Sagittarius. Baby, I don't know what you did to these people, but they're trying to stop you, block you, cause you confusions. You're going through a healing. The, oh, uh, you're the one going through healing. Mm, okay, we see you. You're changing. Oh, yeah, you're going through healing. You're changing your mindset. You're going from being trapped in your hair, confused, you know, being stuck in some type of past. Going back to the past. I don't know if you're someone that's a rebound. You like to go back to the people from your past and things like that. You got a lot of options around you. And they're all there for your money. Uh, okay. But if you love it, so we love it. <clears throat> if you like it, we like it. We ain't gonna judge you. But it looks like you don't want that anymore. So you're going through healing. You see your progress here? You don't want from the devil. Stuck in some type of karmic situation. My wish, Sean. That just is not fulfilling. Like you don't, you 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 effed up and saw the light. You said, "Ooh, what was that bright? What was that beautiful white thing right there? That brightness? What was that? I want to see that again. It disappeared. It reappeared. It disappeared. It reappeared. It disappeared." You said, "Hold on, now. I want to see it a little bit more." And then your ancestors they started telling you what it is you need to do, and you were putting it up for a while because you were so used to being karmic. You were stuck in the past past. You said, I'm content being a bachelor. I got this option. I got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every day. Ooh, you had options, didn't you? So you kept putting up your healing, going within, and the people around you, they didn't encourage you to do it at all because they benefit from you being in this low vibrational energy. But little by little, look at you, sir, look at you, sir, look at you, sir. Little by little, you started doing the work, you went within, you know, you said, let me look, hold on here, I ain't getting younger now, I ain't getting younger. You know, my life is passing me by, I don't care much for all these Mondays, Tuesdays, I don't care about them now. Mm -mm. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. They do their thing in the bed, but that's about it. When they leave, I feel just as empty on the inside as I did before they came. So now what? Now what? So now they're looking a little interesting to you, aren't they? You say, mm, I don't want that no more. You may even have one still trying to seduce you. Talking about, can you come over? Can I come over? And you're like, no. You may not even be responding. You're too busy pouring into your cup now. Look at you. Don't went from the devil to the pitch of cups to a whole temperance energy. Sir, you deserve an applause, Nobel Peace Prize. You did it. Look at you, Dora the Explorer out here doing it, doing your thing. You did it. You did it. You did it. Yeah, I should say you all did it because your soul team, your spirit team, baby, they've been out here helping you. You thought you did it by yourself? No, you ain't do it by yourself. They said they want you to know this is for the lineage. They don't give two f's how you feel about it. They said it. They are tired. They are tired of being disappointed out here. It is time. They said they are tired. So that's why they're having you go through this ascension. They said it's time. Time to heal the bloodline Sagittarius. Temperance energy. This could be a king of wands. Very beautiful man is what I'm picking up on. Very good looking. Charming. You know the, the, the king of wands. He's the Mr. Charming. <laughs> Mr. Charisma. No, the King of Cups is Mr. Charming and the uh, King of Wands is Mr. Charismatic. The King of Swords, sophisticated. King of Pentacles, Mr. Practical. Okay? But you, sir, I picked up on a King of Wands energy. You are Mr. Charismatic. You've been using your charisma out here to get you what it is you want. Haven't you, sir? We ain't, we ain't mad, about, mad at you about it, sir. Do your thing, do your thing. You say you don't want that no more. You want the real deal. You say, I want the real thing. I want the real love. I want the true, true love now. I don't have all the girls but her. <laughs> oh, that's okay. It's your destiny to have fulfillment. You went through that path for a reason to experience it. Don't be coming into anybody's energy with this energy here. Because them ancestors going to molly whop that behind of yours. Don't even try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. They're trying to stop you from thinking. What I'm picking up on is, sir, for you, you're in a community. You got a lot of karmic, toxic people around you. You could be a king of pentacles, Sagittarius, energy. Oh, baby, you are. Oh, you got a brother? Anyways, <laughs> you 
are very abundant in life more than likely um and what it is is that these people don't want you balancing something out in even your life let alone another person's life that you're interested in so whoever this is you're interested in this they don't even like that person they don't, they don't want you associated with that person because when you go to that person they're just as gifted as you are you've been gifted your whole life but you've been disregarding that side of you that aspect of yourself because of the people around you or maybe you were just hiding it no i think you were disregarding it with this two of swords out here you You've been hiding and you've been working really hard not to pay attention to your intuition your whole life you said that's weird you may have even called somebody weird the woman is gifted that now you like uh an empress because a lot of empresses they're gifted but this they keep it on the hush okay so whoever it is they're gifted you may have called them weird you said man she's weird for real she's weird man dang right and now you're weird too. Ain't you happy being weird? Not like everybody else. You know what? I don't know if Carmex ever realized. But this is what y'all look like, by the way. And no offense, no disrespect. People always say that and they say the most disrespectful thing on the planet. But I promise this is not disrespectful. When you all get in a group, this group like mentality, thinking like each other, doing everything everybody else do, being karmic together. Yay, we're karmics, we're karmics, we're karmics. Yay. This is like everybody in, uh, uh, um, think of being in like a warehouse. You know those Amazon warehouse and everybody is doing the same thing. It's like robotic. You people are very robotic. Everybody's dressed the same, talks the same, act the same, everything. It ain't no benefit to it, nothing. It's just what? You're all depressed out here and trying to prove yourself to people that don't even know their own wealth or worth. So, you know, like, imagine getting a, a box of crayons and all the crayons in that box are the same color. All you, you, you is wanting to get all the colors of the rainbows and then some. But you open that box of crayon and everything in there is just black. Or everything in there is just purple. You say, well, why would I need 24 purple crayons? I'm not a teacher. I don't got 24 kids. Exactly. Look at y'all. Just out here depressed. No identity. Because you don't give up your identity and your power to the group. Come on now. Put an end to... Yeah. Come on now. Put an end to this madness. Become an individual. Be out there. Be extra. Like the like the star seeds. Be extra. Some of you are star seeds, you just don't know it. Because you've been stuck in this whatever this is. Leading to nothing but death. Failures. Endings. Listen, this is clarity for some of you. But anyway, such a material, sir. The truth being exposed to you was destiny. <laughs> Clarity is helping you move forward in life and make the decision you need to make to have fulfillment in life and stop being stuck in your mind all the time and stop going back to the past. Sir, if I'm not mistaken, you're probably in your 40s or your early 50s, something like that. Am, am I wrong? You're in your 40s, correct? Okay. You're going to have to stop being a rebound. Nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for it. You got to grow up. Grow up now. Grow up. Out here still trying to be a bachelor. Is you married and still trying to be a bachelor and you going through a court case as well? There's something about a court case. Are you going through a divorce or something? You're real. Listen, don't get offended. So I think you've been watching my channel for a little while and you know. Because I, I, there's a reason why you keep pull, picking up, you know, showing up in the read. You watch this channel. You watch this channel. How you doing? How you doing? Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. Anyways. <clears throat> What was I going to say? You're going through a divorce because you're going through an ascension. You've been trapped in some type of, I don't even know what to call this situation my wish in here. But you got to, sir, I ain't going to say all that. I ain't going to say all that. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. But you'll meet who it is you want to meet in due time. You know, you're doing the work. You, you're worried a lot. You said... Do, do, do they receive my communication? Do, do I communicate to them? What should I say to them? Are they going to respond, sir? You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. You're stuck in your mind a lot. Except the difference now is you used to be 
someone that was unsure of yourself, your thinking. So you were stuck in your mind all the time. Now, this is a different kind of stuck in your mind. This is the good kind. This is you trying, you know, you're planning and everything, trying to figure out how to move forward. You're investing into yourself and into your aspirations and better things. Yeah, this is a different kind of stuck in your mind. This is the kind that you like to be in. People want you to be in. The people that want good for you, not the people around you because you don't got no friends around you now. <clears throat> You don't got no friends around you. You better leave those suckers out in the cold and go get you your true love. Go find you some love because you deserve to be loved. Everybody deserves to be loved. Okay, even that karmic that's trying to hold you back. Keep holding you back, holding you back. She deserves to be loved. She just doesn't know her worth right now. Okay, hopefully she finds it. But it won't be with you is what you're telling me. You say, uh, I don't care where she get it from, but it won't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. You got to censor him. I got to stop. Like, I don't know why I be hearing you people's thoughts. But. <sighs> Guess it's part of the job. It's part of the job. Yeah. You. Listen, 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 listen. You said you ain't waiting no more. You don't put an end to waiting. You're taking action. Good for you. I'm so proud of you. Look at you, big boy. Coming from a big girl. Don't get offended. Because sometimes people mis take what I say out of context. But. You don't win and put on your big boy panties, you know. We, we are proud of you, whoever you are. Good job, good job. Dang. He said, I ain't waiting for nothing no more. I'm going for what the heck I want to go for. And it's a king of cups reverse trying to put her in. He said, she cannot be in a relationship. She cannot have a ten of cups, ten of pentacles, nothing. If she ain't gonna stick with my karmic behind, I don't got nothing to offer her. She, nobody can have her. That's what he said. That's what him said. That's what him said. You better sit your behind down. You got more. Pro, you got bigger problems to worry about, sir. You got bigger fish to fry. <clears throat> From what we see, with that ten of. <clears throat> with that ten of swords right there, you got bigger fish to fry. Got bigger fish, and you don't even see it coming. That's the that's the sad part. Yeah, and it's coming to an end. All your all your your plans to take somebody out, put someone to rest, get them sick. This is someone that could be sick, has some type of disease, and he wants to get with a woman to give her that disease, so that when she connects with this man, he can reject her for having a disease. Sir, you about to go night night. You about to return to the spirit realm. If you don't thread with caution, I don't know. You better thread with caution. You better thread with caution. You got legal issues coming in. You're gonna have to find the strength to make it through that. With this queen of wands, you pick to be with, you choose to be with that's about to be going through. <laughs> that wrath of God. Source said, I'm sick of them. I'm sick of them. I can't do this to you. Know. <laughs> You know, Source is our father and our mother. <laughs> you know, your mom and dad, they get sick and tired of you. <laughs> Zach, and one of them is talking about you to the other. He said, Elizabeth, I can't do it anymore. They're driving me nuts. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> That's what Source is at. That's where Source is at with you. Say, I can't do it anymore. Here comes Source about to put you in your place. <laughs> Now you all burning and worried. Oh my lord, what did I do? I don't piss source off. What are they about to do to me? Source, I got options on how I can balance you out. Sit down right there. Sit down. <laughs> sit down. I said sit down. It's like crunching your, crunching your teeth together. Yeah, that, that, that's where you about to be. You better sit your raggedy behind down. Talking about, have you seen my empress? You didn't know they were an empress when you had them? <laughs> You found out they were an empress when they left? Because you were being karmic to them? You had a whole queen of freaking cups? You dumb as hell. Baby, everybody want a queen of cups. Everybody want a queen of cups. Because those are the kind of women that be nurturing you. And they see you for who you are, you can't hide. Baby, they, I'm telling you. Let me show you the... They see you for who you are, they know. They just look at you and they say, It's okay, baby, I know, I know. You don't even got to tell them. And they're nurturing, kind, and respectful to you. Reciprocity. You had a whole Queen of Cups Empress energy and you let them go? 
You a dumb as heck. Oh my lord. We uh, you missed a few doses of your medication. You missed a few doses. Damn, what? A whole queen of cups, yeah. What are the attributes of the queen of cups? Intuition, nurturer. Oh, look at that, look at that. The very thing you need because you're emotionally imbalanced. <laughs> emotionally unavailable. So this is the one person that who have taught you how to balance your emotions out? Oh, okay. Well loved, kind, warm, empathetic, purity in thoughts, poetic, creative, artist, dreamer, charisma. You see, oh, you don't, uh, you don't fuck up real bad. Look at you about to be going through towers. Now you know that this person is genuine. They're the truth. Oh, it's a little too late, ain't it? Who, what's that song? It's too late to apologize. Yeah, it's, 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 it's don't even bother. Don't bother. That, that, that woman, that girl is living her life somewhere. Looking at her options more than likely wherever she is. Like, <sighs> which, which one should I go with, Source? And the ancestors are like, uh, we need you to pick carefully. Our lineage is on the line. We're going to give two Fs about what it is you are feeling downstairs, upstairs, whatever. Our lineage is on the line. We need some genuine people. In this lineage, okay? We got a reputation to keep. <laughs> we need people that are solid in character, genuine at heart, with pure intentions. We don't got time for none of that nonsense you were with before. Leave that in the past and don't never in your life do that again. We told you when you were getting with that heifer not to get with them, but you had a lesson to learn. You say you're going to find out for yourself. I'm going to see for myself. You went and see for yourself, right? You saw for yourself. Now you're trying to ask us, who should I go with? Oh, now you want our opinion? Now you want our inputs? <laughs> now, don't worry. They'll tell you what to do. They'll tell you what to do. You know they'll never leave you. You're doing the right thing by them. They'll do the right thing by you. They'll tell you. They'll give you clarity. That go with this one here he's more stable minded okay you know he he he's very innovative thinker very creative like yourself business savvy like yourself calm down to earth family oriented that's the one you want to go with okay okay and his lineage there are egyptians like us too there we go there we go there we go and atlanteans as well let come on come on come on come on come on that's the one you go with. And there you go. Da, 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 da. When you listen to your ancestors, this is what always happens. I'm telling you, he's innovative and creative just like you. A thinker. Someone very assertive, authoritative, but in the good way. This is the kind of man that you meet and you just respect them. You don't know why you respect them. You know at heart, if you're an empress, you know why you respect them. Because they carry themselves with their carry themselves with respect genuinely. They don't gotta pretend to be a man of high honor. They just are because they've put in the work. Yes, authentically in the upright. Genuinely interested in you. What you bring to the table, what you have to offer. Not just financially, but morally, ethically, emotionally, mentally, psychologically, spiritually. They're interested in all of that. That's what your ancestors want for you. Okay? Not this tornado. Um, <laughs> have you seen my empress? You got an empress? We didn't know you had an empress. <laughs> that one no empress. <laughs> someone was someone was taking a jizzy bell around telling people it was an empress. You see my empress? I got an empress. I got an empress, everybody. I got an empress. It's, if you got to announce that it's an empress, it's probably not an empress. <laughs> You know, like we, when people find charcoal, and you, I think I've used this analogy before. Someone found some type of gold foil wrapped around charcoal, and they left a diamond in a, a diamond in the rough somewhere. They saw the diamond in the rough, and hey, that looks dirty. I don't want it, and it looks cheap and worthless. So they left it there. May have even kicked it up out of their way. Mm -hmm. And then when they saw the shiny gold foil wrapped around the coal they picked it up and they were so amazed someone did a good trick they wrapped that sucker up in a few layers of gold foil so he really thought he found him a gold 
a real gemstone. He took it around, told people, look at my gold, look at my gold, look at my gold. You don't got no gold, I got the gold. Look at my gold, look at my gold, look at my gold, I got the gold, you don't got the gold. And somebody looked at that gold and said, hmm, that's a peculiar kind of gold. Something is off about that gold. You sure that's a gold? He said, yeah, it's a gold. Gold, a.k.a. Empress, folks. Anyways, time went on. The gold started to kind of fall apart a little bit. And then Mr. Emotionally Unavailable Manipulative, he, he said, hmm, what, what's going on here? Gold doesn't do that. I don't think gold falls away. I don't think gold peels or starts tearing. It's supposed to be durable for life. Uh, what's going on? Uh -huh. And then time went on. The foil started falling apart even more. A whole a hole got in there, the layers of foil started falling apart, just tearing a little at a time, and now it's the hole is so big, the tear is so big, can't even can't even fool people anymore to say it's it's gold. The 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 charcoal, his hands black, can't even pretend no more, and they're just looking at him like, Where's your gold? <clears throat> you know people are petty. <laughs> Where's your gold? <laughs> We want to we wanna look at your goal. We remember your song. Look at my goal. Look at my goal. Look at my goal. You don't got no goal. <laughs> Is that true, sir? Mr. King of Cups in the reverse. Did you have charcoal and you say it was gold? And you now know it was never gold. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You, you had a lesson to learn, but you can't go back to the diamond in the rough now. It's not there anymore. Someone don't picked it up and cleaned it up polish it and everything and gave it a few kisses and put it on a pedestal and it's doing just fine you know you 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 touch that you touch that diamond maybe you're gonna have your hands cut off because whoever that diamond belongs to now they got time they said today i got time cause you better not try it do not do not try it don't try it you see my empress <laughs> You mean your charcoal? <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> this thing of pentacles said, you touch my, my uh, empress, you touch my diamond, I'm going to F you up. He <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> said, you touch her, I'm going to F you up. You got me a whole dog, he wanted too many ways. You said you had, you had a goal, right? But your black hands talk about gold. Go wash your hands and go sit on somewhere with your stupid ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Laura, folks, don't take me too serious. I just be over here having fun. This is all for entertainment purposes, by the way. Please, okay? Take what applies. Let the rest fly. Okay? Don't be out here, you know, talking about that, that woman on the center definition priest just said, uh-uh, I ain't said that. <laughs> I didn't say nothing, okay? I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. I got enough people out here trying to end me, trying to stop me and block me and do all kinds of things to me behind the scenes. I ain't said nothing. I don't need no new problems, okay? Leave me be. Leave me be. <laughs> My ancestors are taking care of it, though. <clears throat> I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it. Anyways, I'll do one more. Oof. The rain is done, folks. Look at that. We started together and we finished together from Genesis to Exodus to Revelations. Ah, okay. We got two. Two people coming together. Didn't I say that? Okay. Okay. Two people will be coming together. Okay. I will do my little recast, but I feel like I'd be taking a little bit too much time, but... You know, you know, it, it is what it is. Oh, this, this emperor here, he said, I don't know who the Sagittarius is. He said he is committed <laughs> to making sure he gets that ten of pentacles. Ain't nobody stopping him. <laughs> and you better not try. You are in danger of stepping in this man's way to stop him from having his ten of pentacles. This is what he's always wanted. Okay? Ten of pentacles. Ten of cups. Yeah. He ain't playing with you. He ain't playing with you people. Dang. Hmm. Whoever this King of Cups is, baby. Ooh. It ain't looking pretty for you. It ain't looking pretty for you. Yeah, collective, your work, baby, you're moving forward. It's time to elevate. It's time to accelerate. 
these haters out here that you did nothing to just minding your business staying cute and looking fly as always brothers and sisters you know that's how we be in the, in the light community just staying cute looking fly stay humble minding our business and then here they come with their hate and negative energies like, just leave us be. You want to be hateful? There's a group of other people that want to be hateful too. Stick to them. Be hateful to each other. You don't get the same thrill when you're hateful to each other? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> leave us alone. You see how we be minding our business right here? Ain't nobody in this picture but us. Just minding our business. Looking into our cup. Because all we care about is what's in our cup. We don't care what's in your cup. You, you see, you, you, you get my floor? You fear me? You feel me? We don't care what you got in your cup. If you got a cup, you don't got a cup in this picture. Is somebody here that got some stuff? Never mind. Uh, we don't care what you got in your cup. What's in your cup is in your cup and it's for you and you alone. What's in our cup is in our cup and it's for us and us alone. Why are you trying to take what's in our cup? Huh? Okay. It said you have keen awareness of what is happening around you. Oop. Mr. Sagittarius, is that for you, sir? You know exactly what is going on. These people are trying to play on your mental, trying to confuse you, keep you stuck and bonded. You don't belong with them people, sir. You're a king of pentacles, balancing yourself out, listening to your intuition, correct? That's the message of the day, sir. Listen to your intuition and make the decision you know is best for you and proceed with that decision. Don't look left and don't look right. You know when you are on like a scary uh, road or something? You know like in the movies when they tell you you go to like a sage or uh, a hermit and they give you wisdom and they tell you how to get somewhere and they tell you no matter what you do, don't look back. You know how they took Lot's wife, took Lot and his wife in the Bible. No matter what you do, don't look back. That's what you're being told now. Okay? You have keen awareness of what is happening around you. Do not look back when you leave. Don't look left. Don't look right. Keep your face, keep your eyes on the prize. What's ahead of you? Okay? Listen, you see that right there? What's ahead of you? That cup, those two ch chalices that you're pouring into? That's all that matters. Everything else is distraction. <clears throat> Back to this. A strong intuition, there we go, is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guy and supporter. I am intuitive. Baby, we started out here talking about intuition. How dare we end up with this car saying that you are intuitive. I am intuitive. You see how spirit works? Spirit is funny. They got jokes. Y'all got jokes? Yeah, they got jokes. That's okay. We're here for, we're here for the laughs. We like laughing. Anyways, 999. Nine. Some down to nine. Mm -hmm. It is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. I am courageous. Mm. That's for the ones that be out here trying to steal people's destiny. Everybody's destiny belongs to them, not to you. You can't steal people's destiny, girl. That ain't how it works, sir. That ain't how it works. You're going to have to find out what your purpose is and go with that. Taking other people's uh, destiny or trying to take other people's destiny. Let me correct myself. Mm -mm, that ain't how it works. In sources words, you got source effed up in one and two many ways. Say, I, I think you got me effed up. I'm your father. I'm your mother. I'm in charge. I told you what it is and what it's not. You fear me? Okay. You, you sure you fear source? Source says to let it go. Okay, let it go. Go heal so you can find your purpose. You got a good purpose on your life, I believe. But this one that you are trying to take from someone don't belong to you. On your own? Oh. Yeah, ma'am, you're about to be on your own. You're going to have to figure it out. It's a little message in there for you. I think you've been relying on someone, trying to hold on to someone, keep someone stuck so they can keep giving to you, but you're not really giving anything back. You trapped someone in some type of situation is what I'm picking up on. You're about to be on your own. You're going to have to figure it out. That's all I can tell you. I don't know what, what you want me to tell you, but uh, we all have to figure it out in life. It's your turn. Tag, you're in. On your own, it's time to take some alone time or be single to get a new perspective, spiritual retreat. Mr. Sagittarius, sir, that would be you as well. I think you are someone that's coming from a very lively past. 
And you'll notice what I mean. I ain't judging you. You got to live life. That's all it is. <laughs> you have options. <laughs> Boy, your energy is something else. Ooh, ooh. You, who, Lord have mercy. Your energy is something else. But thank you for watching. Be sure to, sir, I hope I didn't scare you away now. Come on back and watch this. <laughs> He's out. I'm good. I'm good. You say you're good. I'm good. I'm glad you're good. I'm glad you're good. You'll be back. Okay. Good. Woo! You're going to be back. That's good. Thank you for coming back. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel, folks. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.